Here's a list of things I wish people would stop telling women. And for all you pearl clutchers out there who don't like profanity, you might want to exit stage left now because I'm an adult and I use cuss words like you sprinkle salt and pepper on food. Please stop assuming that when I get dressed up and I do my hair and makeup that it must be for a date or to impress or see some guy. Maybe it's because I'm confident and I'm a bad bitch and I was feeling myself that day. That could also very well be it. Your world might be male-centered, but mine isn't, and I do great things just because I want to do them for myself. Number two, stop assuming that if I turn down alcohol, it's because I'm pregnant. It's not always pregnancy. It's not always an alcohol issue. Sometimes you just grow out of it. Sometimes you just don't want to. Sometimes you never have. Sometimes you are trying to stay sober. Just accept me saying no thank you and move the fuck on and get me a Sprite. Stop telling plus size women that they're brave for wearing a crop top or a bikini as if it's something that they should be hiding or should be afraid to do. But Jules, I only say that because I'm afraid to wear Shut the fuck up and go sit down somewhere. Your insecurity should not be projected onto somebody else. Speaking of which, stop commenting on people's bodies, period. I'm going to be vulnerable with you guys for a moment. I have struggled with an eating disorder since I was 12 years old. So any little thing can trigger me. For example, somebody commented on one of my videos last year and said, I love when people have stomachs like mine. Mind you, I didn't take the time to go look at their account to see what their stomach looked like. That didn't matter. But that comment sent me off into a bulimic fucking frenzy. Yes, I get it, but I only mean well. I was only trying to shut the fuck up about people's bodies. You don't know what they're going through. Stop telling me that I'm angry and aggressive. You're either a man who is benefiting from patriarchy or a woman who thinks that she is benefiting from the cages and handcuffs of patriarchy. And you are angry and upset that I am saying things that is holding a mirror to your toxic ass lifestyle. I don't know about you, but I wanna be set free and so do many other women. So just because you wanna live in a cave, that is no one else's problem. And yes, I am very angry and aggressive at the mistreatment and inequity of women and minorities and the LGBTQ plus community and people with disabilities. If you know about the crimes and injustices committed against us and you're not upset and aggressively wanting change is because you're the problem. And stop assuming that I'm gay or bisexual just because I'm not in the mood to date a man right now. Not that those are bad things, but it's quite possible for a heterosexual woman to just not be able to fucking stand men. Stop assuming that just because a woman doesn't talk about her kids 24 seven and isn't always with her kids and having them attached to the hip, that she is neglecting them and they're somewhere locked away in the closet. It is perfectly normal for mothers to have their own identities, their own interests, their own hobbies, to do things for and by themselves. Anytime I post something about how happy I am to be a single mom and all the fun things I get to do by myself without fail somebody will comment and say but your mom but what about your kids don't you have kids where are your kids unless you are the other parent the step parent a non-toxic family member a friend or some other person who was financially supporting the child in some way shut the fuck up about people's kids People be telling on themselves all the time. And what you're basically saying is if a woman is happy, she must not be a good mom. If a woman is taking care of herself, she must not be a good mom. If a woman has an identity outside of mother or wife, she must not be a good mom or wife. If a woman does anything without her kids, it's because she is neglecting them. Just because I don't talk about my children in every single video or include them in every single thing that I do does not mean that I don't love them and that I'm not providing for them. So the next time you wanna comment and ask me where my kids are or remind me that I have kids or remind me that I'm a single mom or say, but what about your kids? Go ahead and include your cash app or PayPal information so that I can send you a request so that you can start financially supporting my kids since you care about them so fucking much. Stop assuming that single women want your damn man. Stop assuming that just because single women exist that they're all trying to take your man from you. Granted, there are some pick me's out there who do some sneaky underhanded shit. I believe it and I've seen it with my own eyes. I know what happens. But most of us are just 
trying to live our lives and exist. Stop looking us up and down and giving us the cold shoulder and feeling like you gotta pull your man closer just because we walk in a room. If you're feeling that insecure, it's because your man made you feel insecure. You guys need to go to marriage counseling, break up, or get a fucking divorce, but stop making it my problem. The next thing, stop assuming that just because a woman is good with kids that she should have kids. Newsflash, decent human beings are nice to kids. That doesn't always mean we should have some of our own. Now, mind you, I already have two, but every time I hold someone's baby or goo goo gaga with someone's toddler, they're like, don't you wish you had another one? No, the fuck I don't, Susan. No, the fuck I don't. And there are some women who are child free who get that same response whenever they're just nice to kids. It's called being a decent human being. Sometimes there are good people who are just really kind and caring and nurturing. That doesn't mean that they have to pop out children. We need more kind and nurturing people in this world, period. And all of them don't have to show that in the form of being a mom. Stop assuming that just because of the content that I make and people who make content like mine that we fucking hate men. The truth is most of those motherfuckers are pretty shitty. And if we wanted to hate them because of the things that they do to harm us, I mean, we'd be in our right to do so. Bottom line, we can't stand patriarchy. We hate toxic and abusive men. So if you get offended by my content or somebody who makes similar content, it's because you are toxic and abusive or you are with someone who is toxic and abusive and you feel like a mirror is being shown to you right now and you don't like what you see. Stop assuming that stay at home moms are lazy and that they don't do anything all day. You don't think that daycare workers are lazy. You don't think that nannies are lazy, chefs, nurses, therapist, chauffeurs, you don't think those people are lazy and moms do all that and more. And yet you think they're lazy and they don't do anything all day? Get the fuck out of here. Stop assuming that working moms don't care about their kids. Some women actually love their careers and find fulfillment in them. Some women have to work and hustle hard because their deadbeat ass partners are not helping financially provide. A lot of women work because they love and care about their kids. But about that thought never crossed your mind. <laughs> I'm hungry and my Popeye's red beans and rice is starting to get cold, so I'm gonna end with this. Stop assuming that people who are happily single are lying and we're all just miserable with closed hearts and we don't know how to let love in. And there are some women who feel that way and that is okay. You don't know what trauma they have gone through that has brought them to that point. So unless they are harming themselves or someone else or you're their paid licensed therapist and you're working with them, shut the fuck up. And that's not necessarily my situation right now, but my heart is open. I love love and romance. I am open to meeting an amazing man one day. I'm just not putting up with anybody's shit. And it's very upsetting that my unwillingness to put up with said shit equates to me having my heart closed. Weird. Asking for respect means my standards are too high. Odd. Misery loves company, and just because you accepted the bullshit doesn't mean that I have to. Have a great day.